I'm Sylvester McCoy. Although you may remember me better as the strange traveler in time and space known only as the Doctor. Welcome to my brand new TARDIS. Well, this week we're celebrating a very special anniversary. It's 35 years since Doctor Who first hit our screens. And to celebrate this anniversary, we're showing the whole of the Who fans' favourite serial this week. Genesis of the Daleks, with part two continuing in half an hour. Now before that though, what does Doctor Who really mean to you? A little confusion there from the very young. <laughs> well now it's time for the final part of a classic Doctor Who adventure from 1967, the Tomb of the Cybermen. Missing from the BBC archives throughout the 70s and 80s, it was miraculously discovered in 1991 in a dusty vault in foreign climes and is now having its first BBC airing in 31 years, here on the take. Look out for the scene where Kaftan's manservant Toberman disembowels a Cyberman. <laughs> Director Morris Barry was given a real ticking off about that. Here's the plot. The archaeologists who have discovered the tomb of the Cyberman on Telos have been attacked by Cybermats, small, deadly, metallic creatures trained to home in on brain waves. The Doctor fends off the attack. But the evil Klieg has reassembled a cyber gun himself. Ban at Panopticon later in the week. But now it's time for the second part of the fans' favourite serial, Genesis of the Daleks, from 1975. As war between the Thals and the Khalids continues, the Doctor comes face to face with the Khalid scientist Davros as he prepares to unveil his new secret weapon, the Dalek. But the Doctor has been sent to Scarrow by the Time Lords with a secret mission to destroy the Daleks before they become a threat to the entire universe. Wonderful how you could blow up a village church in the 70s for the Doctor Who show. Of course, the BBC had lots of complaints afterwards until people realised that it was just a model. You may also have noticed that the colour of those pictures looked a bit strange. That's because the original colour version of this programme was one of the many Doctor Who titles that have been wiped throughout the years and the version you've just seen had to have its colour painstakingly restored by specialists. We spoke to two of the people involved in the rescue job, Steve Roberts and Rafe Montague. Well, we've got some more Daleks for you now, by popular demand. The third episode in the fans' favourite serial, according to the polls, by Doctor Who magazine, Genesis of the Daleks, from 1975. The story so far. On the planet of Scarrow, the Fowls and the Khalids are at war. The Khalid genius Davros is ready to unleash his secret weapon, the Dalek. Meanwhile, Sarah is the prisoner of the Fowls and in deadly peril. 